Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of After Image. Last time we left off, we were chilling here at the resting path. Um, and I think I specifically turned around from going that way. And I wanted to check out here and possibly here. I don't know if I can get up there. We're gonna we're gonna go check. Um, because I need to refresh myself on uh on things here. But yeah, it's time to time to get back into this. Hello, Owie. Good stuff. I just had myself uh, some dinner and everything, so I am definitely, definitely ready to go. Will that mean I'm more effective at playing the game? Probably not. Um, I'm probably going to be just as dumb as normal, but still good to, to do, to eat, you know. Uh, okay, you're hanging out there. Oh my god, what did my head hit there? I actually don't know what my head connected with that stopped me there. Oh, there's like a little weird lip right there. Okay, well we got that. Cool. So yeah, I just never came up here. Interesting. Well, if I remember correctly, if I get hit by those things, it like teleports me back. Like, it's like falling in spikes in other games, yeah. So apparently I need to be a little bit faster there. Okay. Good. I hear you up there, you little shit. Thought I didn't hear you? Really? You too? Alright, so... good. And that just takes me down from... from up here. And that allows me to get back to, uh, resting town here. Beautiful. And that's the- that's the little area I've opened there. Cool! So we can- we can get rid of this pin. That pin is done. Um... And I did notice that it looked like there was something... ...down here. Can I get that to leave? Yeah. Down here? No. I thought maybe I could walk through one of those walls there. What is this? Right here. Oh, it might be where th that connects to? Because otherwise I... I don't know how to get into that. There's clearly something there. I'm gonna have to assume it's like down from here, but... No, it could be... It could be up there. Let me just... Let me just make sure there wasn't a wall or something I missed here. I can bust through. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like right here is where it looks like it is. Hmm. Guess not. Really look like I don't know. It, it, something's here, right? Let's suppose it's what? That looks like something. That clearly moves to something there. Hmm. Yeah, see, it looks like it's, like, right above me right here, and there's clearly something here, but I can't get up there? Wait a minute. Never mind. I thought maybe it was something here? I, I don't know. I'm leaving a mark there, just in case, because... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It feels like maybe if I could jump higher, I would be able to go through that ceiling or something. But whatever. I just I just wanted to check to see if I could find that. Um, of course, I killed a few of the enemies over here, so we got a little bit of XP. Um, I also had to use my heal. So that was a thing. But uh, we're good. Bang, bang. God, that thing does a lot of damage. Okay, is there... Ow. Okay, I see. So it looks like we need to get... onto the top of these platforms, and if I can get on top of those, I can get to whatever that green thing is over there. But I need to go a different path to get there. Alright. Well, down this way. And we can go hit up our, um... Our little, uh... Confluence again. So, let's go ahead and do that. Pop. And, yeah, so now we just walk to the left. 
And we should be good. Hello, little dork. Bye-bye, dork. Okay, yeah, and then there's this little thing here. Okay, I walked right into that. I... God, these things are faster than I think they are. <laughs> Every single time, basically. Ow. Okay, yeah, you definitely can't knock that thing back. Like you can a lot of the other ones. But hey, meme jam. There we go. Alright, so now we just gotta go this way. Luckily, the... Whatchamacallit, make short work of them. Yeah, so this... I can't do. I need an ability, I believe, for that. Because, uh, yeah, these dorks... Yeah, it seems like I need some ability to... Jump off of them or something. And that will get me up there, possibly. Let's suppose... Yeah, no, that's not getting me up high enough. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, a talent point. Thank you. Um, I think I have a few of those I can spend, actually. Or is it just one? It's just one. Okay. Well, uh... Re need to reach level 20 for that. What can I actually unlock? Contact damage received down. These just increase my damage with different things. This is normal attack damage. Okay, so we are going to want to go down those trees at some point, but I want to focus on the weapons I'm actually using. Max MP. Ooh, MP regeneration. Critical rate. Critical damage. I mean... These all give me resistance, which is not bad. Just give me the stupid contact damage one. 2% less contact damage. Wow. That's going to save my life, it is. Those kinds of upgrades feel, like, so incredibly minute that it basically makes me just never care about them. But whatever. Ow. I mean, I do make contact with enemies a lot, so it just feels like 2% is such a small amount that it's not going to make any worthwhile difference. Seize coin. What in the world is that? It should have been in items. I scrolled all the way past it. Shiny gold coin with a wing pattern in the center. The coins are said to belong to a lazy fairy. If you return these to her, you will be rewarded. Cool. Okay, this is... that thing again. Hmm. I really need to come up with, um... a marker for these. You know, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, this is an anchor. Let's see, not, not that. I'm gonna do this, and this is gonna mean it's one of these breakable ground things, because it's kind of pointing downward. And that's what I'm gonna use to say, hey, this is one of those things. Now, the problem is I've already marked a few of those things with not that. But now we have a good, a good system for that. Because it's it's pointing down. That's gonna that's gonna tell me, hey, it's it's used the down smash attack thing that I will get at some point. Yeah, we can't make it up there yet. Okay, and this needs just a higher jump, I believe. You know what? Maybe you know you know what? Let's um let's also have this since this is pointing up be the oh i need a higher jump here there there we're we're starting we're starting to work on the language for for our things here that will also change to the higher jump thing but it could also be like you know bounce off of these enemies basically i think that's probably what it is which means it might be the same thing as that but I feel like this is a this is a good system. Um that's nothing. That is a that is a wall. Thought I was over here. Whoop. Okay, there's a lot of enemies over here. Nothing there. Slashy. There we go. There we are. Whew. Yeah, a lot of enemies, but luckily none of these are 
too terribly difficult to deal with. Alright, so... Okay. Screwed that up. Okay, I can hit you from there. Not quite. So that's going to be a bit of a weird jump to make. Because we need to do that. Okay. That thing is scary. Don't like that thing. Not at all. Luckily I can kind of cheese it a little bit by hitting it from down here, but... Still just an incredibly, incredibly scary enemy. Here we go. Ow. Can that not happen? Thank you. <laughs> I was trying to not have contact damage happen there, but no, it definitely was. Okay, treasure! A bronze blade. Cool. So that's probably stronger than my daggers here. Um... Yep, 35. So that's just such a big increase that I've got to use that over the daggers. Standard weapons is assigned by the blacksmith of Holy Grounds for adventurers, renowned for their reliable performance and diverse choices. After the raising, perhaps only these relics of the past still remind humans of their glorious past. Okay, so yeah, yeah, we have access to this again now. The, the katana's pretty good. I quite like the katana, so. Alright, uh... Stuff? Over there? Wait a second. Was there like a... Destructible floor? I don't... I don't think there was. But maybe? Ooh, maybe it was... Maybe it's... Maybe it's one of those floors I hate in these games where you... You just have to press down an A and you'll basically fall through it. No? It's not one of those? Like the little wooden platform floors. Hmm. Maybe it's just a weird inconsistency with the map. I'm I'm still adding something there though. Cuz I don't know, it's it, it it's listing that there's something there. Wait, what about this? Doesn't that totally look like something I could fall through right there? Am I crazy? Yeah, it's not letting me. Hmm. I guess I'm crazy. Okay. Well, uh, that's fine. So... Yeah, now I guess we are actually progressing over this way. Now there's a reason to. Yep. Well, that's a nice way to take them out. Yeah, just being able to attack twice like that. It's just a guaranteed kill on them, it seems. Beautiful. Uh, I could go rest at the confluence, but... It'll be fine. We don't. Who needs it? This isn't a wall I can break. It really looked like it would be. Yeah, see, that totally looks like there's something back there. Hmm. Okay, you know, I'm I'm putting I'm putting something there. I don't trust it, I don't. Okay, and this I'll put specifically as the the other thing that I've talked about, so... This can go... Away. And we'll put the, like, little down logo that is down there. At that spot, to let me know, hey, we just- we just smash it... With our- with our giant ass butt stomp attack. That is what I am choosing to refer to it as. There we go. Whoop! Ah! Dashed right into it. There we go. Yeah, the aerial attack on the, the blade continues to be very, very strong. And continues to be my favorite part. Because it hits twice. So just spamming the aerial attack with the blade definitely seems th the way to go. No, you don't. There you go, little puppy. Hope you enjoy that. Okay, cool. So now we just, uh, now we just continue down. And let's see what we got in these rooms. Okay, none of that, please. Ow, none of that I said. Thank you. Okay, god, maybe we should go back to the confluence. I have this... 
You know what? Just, just drink it. We need to. Uh huh. I hate you. There we go. That is a lot of you. My god. Like, that makes short work of you. Uh huh. God, yeah, that's a lot of those shitheads. Jeez. See how many of those things were hanging out there? Roving game, gang of wisps? I wish this game had a bestiary. It really seems like the type of game that would have one, but so far I'm seeing nothing. God, yeah, see, I hate how the edges seem like they just extend a little bit in some areas. That makes me think there's something hidden. But I, I don't think there is. I think it's just a weird bit of extension there. I don't know. It's annoying me. The map not properly lining up with what I expect. Hi. In order to bring uh, you back to this world again through this man-made well, I have to find more dues. Then when the Master Mage Ripe holds his next rebuild ritual, he can add your name to the mix. Wait for me, Rich. Richie? Even if it takes all these years, I promise I'll take you back. Okay, I hear... I hear the noises of good things. We want good things. These dorks remind me of the, the, the Oracle Sages from Elden Ring. They're just like really slow walking and they have like these weird growths on their back. That's all I can think of upon seeing them. So there is a room down there. But... I thought I heard a confluence up here? So I'm heading up here first. To see... If what I heard is correct. There it is. Yep, it's definitely up here. Cool. Ooh, an adventurer's bracelet. That's new piece of equipment. Uh, so we only have one accessory slot though. So XP gain, it's just one and a half percent and my crit rate goes up, but I am always willing to take any kind of XP gain in anything. It just makes me level up faster. That, that's good shit. <clears throat> Ooh, a character. Hello? How we doing? Hey, are you here for an adventure as well? Well met. I'm Karsa, and this is my companion Brenda. We're now traveling around in garden, seeking the hermit's relic. Hello, I'm Renee. This is my partner Ifri, and we are seeking. So you, you, your name is Renee. I swear, I tried to call you Renee. Um in the demo, and I could have sworn Ifri referred to you as Rene. I could have sworn Ifri referred to you as Rene, but I must be crazy. You, you, you call her Re, which maybe that's what I was thinking of, so it is Renee. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, thank you for confirmation. Speaking of the hermit, have you heard of his tale? It is a wondrous story about how a talentless man becomes a great adventurer. He has done all manner of things, like traveling through and garden, talking with the Goliaths of Hydro, and even witnessing the very moment a soul returned to the Sea of Souls. Hey! It's rude to interrupt others, you know! Uh, sorry, I always go on and on. You know, most people think it's just a fairy tale, but I have faith that once I find the Hermit's Relic, I can prove that the myths are real. The legendary adventurer, the Hermit, is my idol! Huh. So... This dumb penguin is your partner? Rude. <laughs> it can't even talk. You won't reach Ifri in a million years. Oh, shoot. You've spoken so much, I've almost ruined my treasure hunting schedule. Brenda, let's go. Fellow adventurers, good day. Oh, and Brenda asked, what bothers you, you fool of a companion? Rex. Hey, I'm no fool. And he's gone. They're quite strange. Okay, cool. I'm so much- I'm so happy knowing that I can just call you by what I assume is correct now. Where my- my initial assumption of what was correct, R Renee. Cause calling you Renee was bothering me basically every time, but I could've sworn that's what the character said in the demo. 
But it's been a it's been a hot minute, so like I said, I was probably just thinking of uh, the way you say it, you call her Re. So that's probably what I'm thinking of. All right, um, so we are good over there, and let's see what we got. There's a purple. There's a purple up there. I would like a purple. Um, so what is this? Farewell, quest completed. Oh, this is, that's one of the, uh, that's one of the, um, prison bones I had to, uh, I had to drop off, huh? Let's look at, uh, my quest list here. Farewell. We've collected Madam's prison bone. We need to place it somewhere suitable. We placed Madam's prison bone on the resting path and laid candles and ritual flowers. Hope we can meet again soon. So what did I actually get for that as, like, a reward besides just, you know... Providing a little bit of closure for Renee. There's another scattered prim prism bone. Okay. Alright, so I think we're good here. So I do need to do need to go back up there because there's Um a thingy that I would like up there. Owie. Okay, you know, that's very, very obnoxious of you. You made me miss my elevator. You jerk. Alright, soft meat though. Up please, thank you. So yeah, up and then we go up a little bit and to the right. So up there. Wait, was there, was there a reason I didn't get this? Could I not actually get up there? Might not have been able to actually get up there. Maybe not? I think we can totally get up there. I just gotta take this upper path here. Yeah. Cause it, it has, uh, one of the purple things, which are usually, um, like some sort of upgrade. Like one of the heart pieces, for lack of a better term. Ow. Damn you. That knocked me down, and that that is where I need to be. Okay, you annoying little bastard. You wanna be that way? Fine. Huh. No you don't. There we go. And we leveled up. Good, good, good. So let's uh talent point it up. So nothing to put there. Suppose I could get the increased damage with blade. Sheath the blade and charge a slash diagonally upwards. If instant has been learned, press the attack button when the blade flashes to enhance the skill. Um, or I can increase the stuff. I would like to get that max MP. Let's get Breath of Pyro. Even though it's not as interesting. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Hey! Cool, my health bar just got bigger. Yay! That I very, very much love. Thank you. All right, cool, and uh, that's a pretty good amount of the map filled in now, too. So now we can go down here, or I can go up here. This looks like a dead end, though, so let's, let's take the elevator down there first. I think that's probably a good call. I could have killed that swarm of those things again, but... Down. So where does this take me? Uh, to a very beautiful place. Potion of Oblivion? That seems... Like a bad thing to pick up. Decorations for mourning and soothing the soul. It is believed that candles and uh, flowers will convey thoughts and make the dead soul... Or make the dead return soon. Um... Valuable item. I'm the master of my fate. I'm the captain of my soul, Invictus. I wonder if these are Kickstarter backers. Like, you get a quote on a, on a prison bone, because these are two unique items. These could also just be characters, but Invictus to me sounds like a username, and then Ryan Duran just sounds like, you know, somebody just used their, their, their actual name. Maybe. Steer's Potion said to wipe all your memories. Oh, its powerful effects can even reshape the direction of power. You reset your talent points. 
Okay, well that, yeah, that, that checks out. That makes sense. God, what a beautiful area. Disturbing aura. Has the, have the well here been contaminated? I think it's supposed to say wells. I guess I'll have to think of something else. Hi? Hey, Big Beard. I surmise you were ripe, yeah? Hey, you're the one I have to talk to, the Archmage. The girl in white and the little one who knows not how to hold his tongue. You must be Renee and Ifri, then? You know of us? Peros has spoken of you. Didn't she come along? Adam is... Hmm. It went bottoms up after all. I've warned her of the dangers of it. Danger? Do you know what Madam was doing out there, Master Mage? She's been investigating the raising ever since this incident. Madam, why didn't you trust that with me? I came here for the aura of Eros I sensed in the artifacts. It seems someone attempted to rebuild her here. Yet the ritual was interrupted for some reason. Rebuild? It must be her. In garden raised. What did she want from Madame Eros? Master Mage Ripe, we spied a triangular emblem on her cloak. Do you know anything about it? A triangular emblem? Hmm. Mayhaps it is the sign of the reincarnates. I've heard whispers of a mysterious organization by that name with a stronghold in the Far East, near the Misty Waters. The Misty Waters? I know of it. But isn't it where the land ceases? Distance matters not. We must have Madame Eros back. Calm your mind, Renee. Though the body might meet its end, mayhaps the soul will not. If that girl attempted to summon the ritual of rebuild on Eros, she possesses no reason to harm her soul. So long as you can find Eros, there is yet hope. Thank you, Master Mage. We'll be on our way. Cool. Okay, wow, that's really far away. Alright, that, that sounds good to me. Oh, this map big. Map big. Map very big. All right, um, give, 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 torn page, you say? Um, let's see here, items, torn page, and this is new too. Fresh juicy meat, such high quality is rarely found. Torn page, which seems to be a note, the rebuilding of the well of being is cyclical. And humans don't want to wait that long. They learned the knowledge of the Goliath of Geo, imitated the well, and made the artificial well artifacts. By its existence, for a price, the dead can return to Engarden at places far away from the well of being. Wartime's artifacts can timely and infinitely rebuild the fallen soldiers to protect mankind. Now that the well has been destroyed, artifacts has become humanity's only hope for survival. Despite its rebuilding powers, Artifacts needs a large number of crystallized dews to activate it. Thus, the activation of Artifacts can be the most important thing to all human settlements. Interesting. Hmm. So they made an artificial well, and that now that the real well's been destroyed, the artificial one's the only way they have of actually rebuilding people. Interesting. Um, I'm gonna leave a note here. Hmm. I don't know, though. I feel like there could be something hidden... ...high up in here. You know? I feel there could be. Or I could just reveal the map here... ...by jumping on you. And... JUMP! Okay, there's nothing in here, I don't think. I don't think there's anything in here. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're good. I think we're good. Cause, yeah, that's the only bit, unless, unless there's something hidden like right there. I, I doubt it. I doubt it. So, we're just gonna go. Hopefully that doesn't count as a little bit of map completion not going. Yeah, this bothers me. These like dotted lines that are like, oh yeah, there's maybe more here. Maybe. I don't like it. I don't like, I don't like what it's suggesting. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, uh, continue until we hit another, uh, save point, at the very least. So... And then I can, uh... end this episode off. Bye-bye.
Slashy, slashy. Ow. Bastard. Here we go. Oh, I can't help but notice that. Yep, yep, that's something right there. So for that, I don't have anything to, to let me know that. All right, um, I'm gonna say anchor. Anchor for this. Anchor means I need to be able to crouch. Um, and it's because an anchor goes down, and crouching is going down or morph ball or whatever, whatever. You know what? There, there, there. there, there. Okay, I, ex I've explained myself. I, I know, I know, I owe no one anything else. Ooh, a talent point. Oh my god, more? Okay, another anchor. Boom. Does it make a lot of sense? No. But, whatever. And I'm also gonna put a, we need a higher jump mark right here. Cool. Alright, uh, talent point. This is right. Um... So, now I think I'll just go ahead and get this. So, up, and attack. Okay, that's not bad, actually. That is not bad at all. It's very, very fast to do. Okay, I like that, actually. Nice, a nice high diagonal attack like that. 44 damage. Still better to do this. And it hits twice, too, so there's a higher chance of uh, actually getting a crit there. Ow, nice kick. Gotcha. Um... Nice bow. It's like a Dragon Slayer Great Bow there. Let me heal. Okay, you're very, very cute. Whoop. I don't know where- oh. You shot it through the ground at me? Interesting. Uh, Wandering Warrior's Necklace, after image required. Antique necklace, uh, disfigured by blood and wearing, allows the bear to slide while crouching. As soon as- as soon as I decide on a thing that lets me- Okay. Okay, you know. You know, that's- this is- this is fine. This is fine. Let's- let's go up here first, because this looks like this leads to, like, a dead end. <laughs> As soon as I get the ability. Okay, well, there, I know there's quite a few places where I didn't leave a different mark specifically. Um, that I can now access. Um, because there were quite a few places I ran into where I was like, Oh yeah, I'm just gonna put a lock to let myself know, Oh yeah, I need to be able to slide to get here. But, um, I have... I actually have the power now. And, uh, it's hard to differentiate what those marks are. But at least I have a better system now... ...for actually, you know, differentiating between these things. Yeah, it's like a little... It's like a little Mega Man slide. I don't know how you couldn't do that before, but... Magic Journal. Okay, so that's a new... That's a new... ...spell here. Or not? Okay, I thought it was, but... No, apparently not. Okay, items. So it must be... yeah, here. Unlocks Bestiary! An ancient magical jurgle that automatically records the information of encountered monsters! Can't use... Where's it at, though? Bestiary! God, yeah! I was gonna say, this seems like the kind of game that would have a bestiary. Okay, Prison Bone Archer, Prison Bone Punisher. So do we, do we not get information? Okay, we don't get information about them, but we do get to see their drop list and their names. So, I don't have lore to read, but we can see stats, and we can see their drop list. So I can know where to get certain things if I need it for, like, cooking or anything like that. So, Scratcher, Dribbling, Stone Slug, Wanderling, Mourners, O-Reaps, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, Hollow Mage, Batling, Stoneling, Lamellar, uh, Lamellar Warrior, Hollow Archer, Grapling, Mazeling, Lush Wolf, Hollow Warrior, 
Bubble Frog, Bubble Ling, Spike Fly, Cuckooling, Sand Crab. Cool. All right. I'm really, really glad it has a bestiary. Um, I I always really, really like bestiaries in games. I think they add a lot to a Metroidvania. So, all right. Uh, that can go away now. We can remove that. Um, I can take this down and we can see what's in this little room over here. God, something as simple as the ability to to slide like that. Uh-huh. Did you drop like a cool weapon for me or something? That'd be kind of awesome. Nice kick. You don't really do a lot of damage. A bronze greatsword. Okay, we got... We got, we got a great sword. Standard weapons designed by blacksmiths of holy grounds for adventurers renowned for their reliable performance and diverse choices. After the raising, perhaps only these relics of the past will remind the, uh, the warriors of their past. Yeah, the problem I remember having with this is it's just, it's really slow and only does two more damage than like the blade. So really, what's the point? You know? Hmm. Um, I do still have a Dim Bomb I can, uh, I can use at some point. Uh, that is, that is another thing to keep in mind, I think. But, I think I'm gonna save that for when I get the Bronze Daggers. They're the Twin Swords, or whatever, whatever you wanna call them. Okay, so we can get, we can get rid of that mark. Good, good, good. Um, I could've went back to the save point there. Let's, let's just go this way. And get out. There we go. Cool. And... This is a new area. Okay, I wonder if this has... I want a save point. And there's probably... One somewhere around here. Cause yeah, I really, really could use a save point. I mean, I could, I could go back down to that one. Obviously, I would loathe to teleport to one right now. Because... Um, it would require resources. And I don't... I'm not too keen on wasting resources if I don't need to. Okay, this is one of the ones I had marked here. So now we can get here. Beautiful. And that allows me to get you a talent point. God, it's always so nice when you get a new ability in a Metroidvania. It's so nice. All of a sudden, you can do so many things. Okay, what was over here? This doesn't look like... Um... Uh... I need to be able to dash thing, but... Um... We can still check it out anyway. Is that it? Really? Up there. I think there's something up there? Why? Hmm. I don't think there's anything up there, actually, me. I think... I think you're... I think you're incorrect. But there is some stuff back here. So let's go check out all of these things so I don't wait. Yeah, this is one I needed the ability to crouch for. Oops. There we go. That gets me a treasure. A dim bomb. Yay. Cool. That is good. So that one can get cleaned up here. Good. I suppose I could just work my way back over here and then... Yeah. Yeah, I could just, I could just work my way back here because I want to grab this item, I think. Anyway. And it would basically just require me going down here and uh, basically wrapping around, so... I'm gonna get a lot of XP out of this. God, yeah, this... The blade's really good. Honestly, might like the blade even just as much as the, the twin swords. The, the scythe is good too, but not as good as those two things. Because this attack's just too strong. 
Like, it's really, really good. Just, you just jump before you attack and you get two hits. Like, that's so free. <laughs> and it kills most anything at this point. Like, look at it go. Okay, so... Ellie. Okay, up here. Yep, that... Um, that, I'm going to do away with that, and I'm going to put the higher jump button there. But, like I said, I, I don't know, because it's- I might get the ability to, like, Shovel Knight hop off of enemies, and if I do, then that's totally what that expects of me. Um, still can't heal here. Yeah. We are very, very close to the save, though. Just don't die before we reach it. There we go. Cool! Alright, a lot of progress made this episode, so I'm quite happy with that. Whew! Alrighty, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.